Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with the Great American Burger Dog. That's right, get ready to have your burger world turned upside down. Well, actually not really upside down, more like elongated. And if you saw the recent US Open from the Olympic Club in San Francisco, you probably saw this cheeseburger. It's very famous, you can only get it there, which means nobody can get it. But I'm gonna show you how to make your own, and this is way more than simply a different shaped hamburger. So here we go. So the first thing you're gonna need is an extra long hot dog bun. Those regular little short ones are not gonna do. I think this one's going about seven and a half, which is perfect. And I do want you to measure it because we're gonna make our burgers like an inch larger because of shrinkage. And by the way, guys, please measure accurately. Do not embellish. So if this is seven and a half, we want our burger dog about eight, eight and a half inches long. Okay, next we're gonna shape the burger dogs, which is easy because we're using plastic wrap. Just put some down. We're gonna place eight ounces of burger meat down on that. I'm using a nice 80% grind, 80% meat, 20% fat, all right? We're gonna pat it down into a rectangular shape about a half inch thick by about, like I said, eight, eight and a half inches long. And let's just do a quick verification with the old rusty tape measure. Yep, looking good. All right, at that point, we're gonna season this. So I'm gonna hit that with some freshly ground black pepper and some kosher salt. And the reason we're seasoning that surface is because what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this in half and we're gonna have that beef seasoned from the inside out. So we're gonna fold that over. I'm gonna use the plastic to shape this into basically a long rectangle, sort of mimicking the shape and size of the bun. And like I said, it's gonna start off a little longer than the bun, but once it cooks, it's gonna be perfect. All right, so you're gonna do most of the shaping and the smoothing right in the plastic, and then you can unwrap it, and you can do some final tuning with your fingertips. You really want the edges to be smooth so it doesn't break up on the grill. All right, and you can put that in the fridge just like that, ready to go. Or if you're ready to eat like me, you can season that and head out to the grill. All right, so I'm out back. I'm gonna place these on my grates. All right, I want you to put those down across the grates because when we go to turn these, we're gonna use a spatula and tongs and we're basically just gonna roll them over. So it's just easier that direction so the spatula doesn't catch on the grates. And of course, we've talked about cooking burgers before. I kind of like to go until it looks like they're cooked about halfway up. You're also gonna get those dripping beef juice stalagmites, or maybe those are stalactites. I always get them mixed up. But anyway, some kind of beef juice formation. And right there, I decided to flip mine over. And I'm gonna give you my theory on why this is so delicious when we put it on the bun. But one thing I love about this technique, in addition to the season from the inside out, is that because of the shape, you really get an amazing crust, all right? Because of the geometry here, you get some really great grill marks that pretty much cover the whole surface. And you just don't do that as easily on a thin, round burger, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and top mine with some Munster cheese. You should probably use cheddar. And I just cook mine to a beautiful medium, about 140 internal temperature. That's how I like my burger these days. I'm not a big rare, medium rare burger guy. So we're gonna pull those off. We're gonna let them rest three or four minutes while we set up our bun, which has just simply been spread with mayonnaise. If you have time, toast it first. We're gonna place down the burger dog and we're gonna give it the only recommended additional condiment, ketchup. That's right. We're gonna pop that top on. And that is so American I can barely stand it. A hot dog shaped hamburger. And if you're thinking big deal, you put a hamburger on a hot dog bun, so what? You haven't tasted this. It could be that perfect proportion between the meat, the cheese, the bun, the condiments, etc. Or is it because Americans love to eat things in one direction? That could be. So for your 4th of July barbecues or any time this summer. So I really hope you give those a try. Head over to foodwishes.com. There's no ingredients. It's just a technique. But still, head over there anyway. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.